Hello, today I want to show you how to do a, an array and a parallel array. An array is simple to do. You need to do an, in, um, sorry, an assignment and whatever you want your, like your counter to be, you have to name it. So I will, I usually do index and index will be one because the array in Raptor, the array starts with one, two, three, four, and so on. So the index has to be one. In order to make an array from an input, you have to say, or anything, could be anything, whatever input you want to get. It could be test scores, it could be games won, or something like that, right? And you can mix it in with selections and loops and other stuff to get your array. So in this case, let's say we want to input name. So we're going to say, what is your name? So this is going to be the prompt the user gets and we're going to get names. Oops. Name. And in order to make it an in, uh, index or I mean an array you have to use square brackets and then you put index here. Now this tells Raptor that name, element, whatever <coughs> sorry. Whatever the element is. So in this case it'll be one because it'll be one here when the program runs it'll be index equal to one and then over here in the second in the input it'll be index equal to one so name one so if we run it real quick what is your name let's say Roger the first one see that one Roger so you can see that this is an array has a square bracket size one and let's say we want to get more input and we are going to do an exit condition we're just going to name it the exit equals one and why well, might change that in a second um, and we're going to say we're going to get our exit condition so we can say do you want to enter more names and we'll just say exit actually sorry I always forget this you have to tell the user what to enter do you want to enter more names yes or no so enter one for no or two it could be one or zero it could be any number or two for yes I'll say YouTube to whatever. <clears throat> so we're going to con continue this loop until the user pr enters one. Sorry, let me get. The, let me think about it again. Do you want to enter more names? Enter one for no, and two for yes. So if the person press enters a one, it'll come out. It'll leave. So I need to change this. Enter one for no. So I'm gonna just say zero for no. One for yes. So exit equals one. If it's a no, it'll be zero. So I need to change this to zero. So exit equals it's zero because it's for no then yes and it'll exit so we're going to copy this and we're going to get another index another input for the names so we're gonna to have to tell index or Raptor to count up one more index so whatever index was in index plus one so it so index will become whatever index was so this will become this plus one I hope this makes sense. So if we try to get more names, I'll say Roger again. Do you want to enter more names? Enter zero for no, one for yes. So let's say I want to enter more names. So I'll say one. What is your name? I'm going to say Sarah. Do you want to enter more names? So the loop has repeated if we slow it down. So I'm going to enter another name. Zero for no, and one for yes, yes. And here we, our index is counting up. So right now our index is at three. 
when we enter this name it'll go into index whatever three or whatever index it is in so which it'll be three so we're going to say Joe and then it'll loop again and so Joe is being added and that's how you start getting an array <clears throat> now let's say that we want to use a parallel array how do you do this? You do this simply by getting or, or by getting the input getting inputs at the same time and going into the same index at the same time. So let's say we want to get the last name. So what is your name? We can say what is your last name? And we can say L in name L for last name we can say last name and then index and this is how you get a parallel array and same thing here so we just copy this and we paste it this is how you do a parallel array this is the most simplest way I've been able to do it so we run the program it's gonna tell Raptor to put this input into an array called name what is name Roger and then we will run this one we're going to tell Raptor to put this this last name into a, in an array called L name in the index one because we already labeled it over here so what is the last name I'll say I'll just say last name one do you want to enter another name I'm going to say one for yes so I'm just going to repeat over and over and over until the exit condition is made. I want to say Joe. What is your last name? I want to say last name two. So if we just look at this, we have Roger and Joe. When we look at our array for L name, we have last name one and last name two. And that is how we're going to enter zero. And that is how you make a parallel array. So you have the index one, index one, and they're related. So you can run another loop for, let's say, you want to do math, banking, or username, or password. They're going to be related to each other this way. So I hope I hope this helps.